Idol Heroes, what is going on? It's me, We're Stepping Gamer. I'm back with some more Idol Heroes, guys. And today, we have a brand new hero to discuss in the game. Uh, Cruise, if you're cruising for a schmoozing, this is your guy right here. Very strange looking character because he's a priest. But this guy looks like he's some kind of a, a tank or a DPS hero. But it, th it doesn't matter, guys. Don't judge a book by its cover. That's how you always have to look at things. So I got crazy lucky in my summons, guys, because I was able to get this guy on my summons. Where is he? There he is. And uh, now I'm going to break down his abilities. But I think let's take him to 10 stars to actually see what he's going to be at the max. All right, because that's more important than 10 stars. So let's go ahead, let's break it down. So we're looking at active skill deals, 150% dam of attack damage against four random enemies and weakens the target for three rounds. Increases random one ally's energy by 100 points. All right, so that's actually not so bad, guys. Increases, so he's an energy buff. And three random enemies attack. So ultimate seems pretty cool. Nothing crazy though, it doesn't seem to be overwhelmingly special, but it does seem okay. Uh, basic attack targets the backline enemies, dealing 90% enemies, so it's an AoE, AoE attack dealing 90% damage and reducing their, their armor by 50% for 3 rounds. Heals 2 random allies for 20% of the allies max health. Now there we go, that's not so bad. Wow. So he's gonna deal damage. 90% uh, damage, reduce armor for 3 rounds, and heal 2 random allies for 20% of their opponent's health. So there's a lot of things going on with this ability, so that's actually not so bad right there. Third ability, Flame Power. Increase HP by 30%, increase speed by 60 increase uh, reduce damage by 20%. Okay, seems okay. While below 50% health, has a 75% chance to stun all enemies for 2 rounds. Wow! All right, that is pretty dope. 75% chance is very high to stun all enemies for two rounds. That's pretty cool, guys. This seems like he should be somewhere in the front. For some reason, he seems like he should be like a tank. Even though he's a priest, he should be somewhere in the front as a tank. Because once he gets the below 50%, you want the stun ability to kick in, all right? If you can stun heroes... As many heroes as possible for two rounds, it seems incredible. And then your the rest of your heroes can go into their ultimates to go into their abilities and deal some damage. So this seems really dope, guys. 10 star, it looks incredible. Wow, Cruz! He does look good, guys. That's why I said don't judge him by his looks. Even though he looks massively OP by his looks. This guy seems to be a nice hero, man. I really, really am considering working on this guy right now and uh I'm liking it. Now, you can get them for 450 points in the summonings. So, if you've saved up a lot, you can get them. I haven't saved up nearly enough. I'm cl close to 200, but that looks like that's all I'm going to have to do. Damn it. And I really wanted this guy because I think he would have been a cool hero to have too. Even though I got him, it would have been nice to get more of him. Ah, but on another note, guys, we do have a cool hero exchange right now. So, let's go ahead. Let's take a look. So... I got two options here, and I want to go with Faith Blade. 6,000, and I've saved up enough. Yep, I'm definitely going to summon him right here, guys. Let's buy him, and I'm going to show you how my Faith Blade is looking right now. So my Faith Blade right now is 6 stars, and I have potential. You know, I could potentially bring him to 7 stars. And then the one with the one that I just summoned right now, I could bring him to 8 stars as well. But lack of resources right now is the problem. Don't have enough currency right now to get him up there. So I'm going to wait on that a little bit, guys. I'm going to wait on it. I wish I I wish I had a skin, but I don't have it just yet. So I'm going to wait on that just a little bit before I get this guy to 7 and 8 stars. Just got to get my currency up a little bit. So Faith Blade is looking good. The rest of my team are as follows. I'm close to 10 starring my Demon Hunter. That should be coming up close. So my Vesa, check it out. Ooh, I'm pretty happy about Vesa. I, I was able to 9 star. I got pretty lucky with one of the draws. And then uh, it's going to be a little bit before I can get her to uh, 9 or 10 stars though. It's going to take me a little bit longer. I'm running the skin on her. These are my equipment. Um, so far so good with Vesa. So she's doing a bang up job. Uh, I got Sigmund. He's killing it right now. Ice Blink is another one of my top heroes. The only problem is I'm going to need... Actually, I could... Well, I, have, I could get this guy to 8 stars. I'm pretty sure I can get him fairly easy, but... Like I said, the lack of resources right now, waiting on some stuff. 
I have a lot of different ways I can go with this team, guys. Like, I've got Bloodblade and Karma there. I can go with that. I got two Forest. I got two Fortress. I got two Shadows. Um, with Ass Model and my boy uh, Faith Blade. I got two Light. Uh, I have Amavor and I could uh, potentially uh, six, uh, seven star Dark Arthendal. So I have a lot of different ways I can go with this team, guys. But so far, the team that I've been running with the most is. Uh, let's go ahead and attack somebody here. This will do. This is still the team that I'm running with. It got some pretty good results, you know, so far. I should be able to 10-star uh, my Demon Hunter pretty soon. Faith Blade, as you saw, I can get him to about 8 stars. And Ice Blink, I can bring him to 8 stars as well. So, could get it a lot better pretty soon. So, let's go ahead into the battle and let's see how we're going to do in this battle. Yeah. Whoa, looks like we're... Oh, actually, we're fine. We're fine. I thought we were going like, to lose, but... Nope. Vessa kicks in hardcore. Hardcore, hardcore. And the winner. That's how we do it, guys. Beautiful. So, yeah, Demon Hunter, she's a beast, but she does a lot of AoE damage, guys. They're just Her stats just pile up. Pile driver. Woohoo. So, how close are we to 10 starring Demon Hunter? Let's take a look. At Demon Hunter. I already have most of the pieces I need. The only thing I'm missing is another 9 star hero guys. So that's the only thing that I'm missing. But I have a lot of copies of Karma here. Where are they? Did I pass them already? I have 3 more copies of Karma. So I'm pretty sure that I could. She's already at 8 star. Yep. I'm pretty sure that I can. Uh, well 9 star her and then 10. Well I can 9 star Karma first. Sacrifice her to get Demon Hunter. 10 stars, and then I'm done with Demon Hunter. Then next time, the plan is going to be move. With, you know, next time I'm going to move on to either Vessa, she's going to be my main priority, and then Blood, I mean Faith Blade. Faith Blade is going to be my other priority after that. And then after that, I'm not really sure what the next priority is going to be, guys. I'm not too sure. Maybe I will concentrate a little bit on the new guy, Cruz, but it doesn't really work with my aura. I could potentially change my aura to go with Dark uh, Abyss. And Shadow, that's also the same exact aura I'm running right now, except three different factions. So it's still some possibilities, but I think I want to finish this team off first. Uh, you know, my my three different factions with the Forest, uh, Fortress, and Light. And then see how that one works out, and then switch it up around a little bit. Um, I have no problem getting in the top five in the arena anytime I really need it, so... The only issue has been with me is the ass model has been hard to get. For some reason, he's just not dropping anywhere. Obviously, drop rates are crazy low. And they're not doing any special offers for, uh, you know, recently. There is a 10-star replacement going on right now. But, I will, obviously, I will need a 10-star to do it. So, a lot of possibilities here, guys. A lot of possibilities. The event right now is okay. Nothing great. I was able to get all these. Hero exchange we already did, and then the summoning package is this stuff. Now, I did get him, Cruz, so I was able to get all these items, which was pretty cool. That helped out a little bit. But, in my opinion, guys, now that I think about it, I'm kind of thinking uh, in advance right now. And, you guys let me know in the chat, what, I mean in the comments, what you guys think about this. But, does it make more sense to 10 star a pretty crappy hero that you have a lot of copies of? And then save five copies of the hero that you actually want to 10 star, right? And then do it that way. For instance, let's say I have, I'm going to take an example of this guy right here, Fat Moo. So Fat Moo, I, for some reason, I seem to be getting a lot of copies of my boy Fat Moo. And a lot of other heroes, maybe even here, you know what I mean? A lot of copies of these heroes. What if I... Well, that let me do a little research before I just make some, uh, you know, assumptions here. So, because uh, you might, oh yeah, you could, you can ten star Fat Moo. So, if I ten star Fat Moo first, because it's easier to get than some of the other heroes, then I can sacrifice ten star Fat Moo and then save five copies of whatever other hero I really want to ten star, and do it that way. Would that be? better 
That is the question. You guys let me know in the chat. Let me know what you guys think because I can get five different Ormuses, for instance, easily from the guild and then save all five Ormuses. 10 star, uh, since I'm really close to Karma, I, I have a pretty good chance of 10 star in Karma as well. 10 star Karma, sacrifice the Ormuses and boom, right there. That might be a better way to go. Hmm. So let me know what you guys think about that or is it better to just manually 10 star the hero by yourself without having to do that because you sacrifice a lot more by doing that because not only are you sacrificing all of the everything that you risk to get the 10 star so maybe that doesn't make much sense now that I really think about it because you are going to be sacrificing pretty much all these sacrifices that I'm gonna make to get demon hunter 10 star let's say I was sacrificing her I would have to sacrifice her plus five more of that five star hero that I really want 10 star and that is a lot to sacrifice so I understand that that doesn't uh, really make a lot more sense but it would be easier to 10 star one of those other heroes so either way I think it's okay but you're probably better off doing it the, uh, the, the normal way the old-fashioned way anyways I'm rambling on here guys that was pretty much about it for Idle Heroes, just letting you guys know our progress on my team. Nothing really special happening right now. Uh, let me know what you think about the new hero, Cruz. Uh, I think he's incredible. I actually love this ability at the end here. This one seems like a really cool stun ability. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I'll check you out on the next Idle Heroes. Peace out, everybody.